I think that what's really important that I want people to take away from my presentation is that systematic preparation is a major source of power and leverage in negotiation. Those who've done their homework, uh, who've calculated carefully their own interests, who've thought carefully about what the other side is interested in today, tend to do best in negotiation. And so I want you to think hard about this question. Why is it today that the other side is having difficulty saying yes to my particular proposition? And when the answer comes back that it's simply not meeting a price, you want to be able to quickly probe again, what is it around the issue of price that's problematic for you? When we're thinking of dealing with obstacles uh, and barriers uh, in negotiation, uh, it's important to have in mind uh, three critical tactics. The first is to have a sense of situational awareness, that I'm in a situation that's not my everyday situation. The second is to have some knowledge of whether the other side is essentially a competitive or a largely collaborative negotiator. And then the third is to have in mind that the game should never be accepted as completely given and that there are a number of moves that I can take to help the other party make a better decision today. I want you to think about what that opening dialogue looks like. I also want you to understand, using a basic football analogy, who goes first and who goes second in this negotiation matters. Who kicks and who receives the ball. Think about being ready for both of those, given the fluid nature uh, of the uh, negotiation. Do the homework of the other side. In terms of uh, actual takeaways from the program, I think there are a number of things that I hope participants will take back to their workplace. The first is that they will not go into negotiation and treat it as gambling or simply to be a charismatic negotiator, that they will have done careful preparation looking at their own and the interests of the other side. Secondly, that they will try some of the new tactics that we talked about in the program about how to get the other party to be more collaborative, about how to get both sides to engage in more options generation, and finally, how to think hard about producing not just the agreement for today, but the agreement for tomorrow. If you take home one or two big points for today, I want you to distinguish this between good and great negotiators. Good negotiators focus on what they want in the negotiation. Sounds reasonable, right? Great negotiators focus relentlessly on the decisions that the other side needs to make today. But you want to write this down, share it with friends and loved ones. Negotiation is the art of letting other people have it your way. Negotiation is the art of letting other people have it your way. One of the things I've enjoyed uh, over many years teaching uh, at the program on negotiation has been the varied experience, public, private, nonprofit sector of all the participants. But most importantly, I've enjoyed hearing their stories, their travails, their difficulties, their opportunities, and weaving these real-time stories uh, into my presentation.